Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. It's Megan here and it's still Friday and I just finished up with the fruit tutorial that I showed you for making some good fruit for your baby. And now I've gotten everything cleaned up and I wanna show you some vegetables. So I'm doing two different vegetables. And then I think I'm gonna make some more fruit. I still haven't decided yet, but I finally got the baby down for her second nap and it was just perfect timing. And I said I would show you some vegetables. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys some vegetables that you can make for your baby. So here we have again, the baby Reza or the baby Breza. And what I did was use about a cup and a half of mixed frozen veggies. Now, some people ask, is it really okay to eat frozen veggies? Isn't it better to eat free, fresh veggies all the time? And I do have an answer for you for that because I wondered the same thing. And I watch a lot of videos about health and nutrition and fitness. Um, that's one thing that I've always really been passionate about. I was raised to be really healthy and fit. It's just kind of in my blood. And if you guys go over to toneitup.com, you can check out their website and their YouTube videos. Um, I'll also put up a link for Heidi at Buff Bunny. And you'll hear them talk about how it's really okay to eat frozen vegetables. And there are two reasons why. The one reason is because you can keep them longer. You buy them frozen, you bring them home, you pop them straight in your freezer, and then you have veggies around the house all the time, you know, and you don't have fresh veggies that you're like, oh no, I have to eat these now or they're going to go bad. And the number two reason is that they are picked when they're fresh and then they're flash frozen, so it actually locks in the nutrition as opposed to if you were to get canned vegetables and then end up with these vegetables that are already cooked and they're already mushy. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed the difference. When you open up a bag of fresh frozen vegetables, in fact, here, I'll just show you. Let's go right in the freezer and grab those out. And I'll show you, These are. this is an example of some of them some frozen corn and some frozen carrots. Look at how bright that color is. Look at how beautiful that is. If I dump some of these mixed veggies into a bowl here, look at how beautiful that is. Bright green, green beans and peas, bright corn, bright carrots. I mean, that is fresh. When you open up a nasty, icky can of canned veggies, they're like gray. They're not even the right color. Sorry guys, I keep showing you. That's my, those are my eggshells that I'm going to break up and put in my garden uh, for compost that I've been saving for about a month. Anyway, back to the veggies. So that's why I use frozen veggies. And because you're cooking them in a steamed fashion, you're not cooking out a lot of the nutrition. So it's really okay to steam your baby's veggies, blend them up, and then freeze them again. And like I said, that's because you're just steaming them. You're not taking any nutrition out of them. So if you let them thaw out and you just warm them up for a couple seconds, you're not taking everything out of them and your baby is still getting a ton of nutrition. So this was, uh, we'll take, take a step back, a cup and a half approximately of these mixed vegetables from Meyer. There are green beans, peas, corn, and carrots in there. And I steamed them for 20 minutes. And then I blended it myself. Like I said, you can select steam and blend and it will steam it and then blend it automatically for you. I think I told you that in the last video. And that's great. Sometimes you do have to go back and blend it more because it doesn't always get it all the way. But sometimes I like to just pulse blend after it's done steaming because it causes the food to mix up a little bit more and you get a little bit better consistency. If you just hold blend down and just go to town, 
um, it actually takes longer for things to get blended up and for things to get pureed because it doesn't mix as well. It doesn't quite mix like a, a blender, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what the veggies look like. I did mention earlier that I have a one-year-old, so she is getting bigger. She's wanting to play around with eating bigger pieces of food. So this is not as pureed as I would have made it before when she was first being introduced to solid foods at about six months. Um, but you may puree your food even more. You may mix it up as much as you want to. And what we're going to do with this, this has been my favorite trick. I have these ice cube trays out. I also have some Tupperwares, but that's for a different thing that we'll get to in a minute. I love these ice cube trays. This is like the perfect serving size for a baby. So all I'm going to do is take my soup spoon and get some veggies in each ice cube tray. And then what I do is I get this frozen and then you can feel free to store the vegetables just in the ice cube tray but because I only have a couple and I do like to cook for her a lot and I like to rotate what she eats what I will do is let these freeze and then pop them all out and just keep them in a clear ziploc baggie in the freezer and that way I always have something that I can just grab for her real quick and heat up. These are great to mix with a little bit of pureed chicken or on their own. Our baby really loves fresh vegetables. She loves fresh fruit. She loves chicken and turkey. She was okay with beef, but I'm not really sure it was her favorite. I think turkey is her favorite. So, you know, just experiment and see what they like. Um, I've got just a little tiny bit more in here, and it's a little liquidy, so we'll just pour that in. So that's a great way to get some veggies cooked up and stored in advance for your babies. And some people say, oh, I don't have time to do that. You know, it's just easier to go buy Gerber. That's fine. If you don't have as much time as you think you have or you think I have, which I don't really because I also work outside of the home and I work inside the home because I run a small business out of my home. Um, if you think you don't have time, that's fine. But please don't buy junk food for your kids. At least buy all natural or organic foods that are canned already, um, like beech nut naturals. I really like those. But really, honestly, like, how long did this take me? The veggies steamed for 20 minutes. I pureed them for about 30 seconds, and then I put them in here, and I'm going to freeze them. That maybe total took me a half an hour. And while they were steaming, I ate my lunch. I cleaned up the baby. I put her down for her nap. Like, I was going to do that stuff anyway. And the baby food maker was working for me in the meantime. That's like saying, I don't have time to do my own laundry, so I get it sent out. You do have time to do your own laundry because you put it in the washing machine and you hit start and you walk away from it for like an hour. So there's, there's me on my soapbox about making your kids food. <laughs> Sorry, I went off a little bit. But we're going to take this and pop it in the freezer right over here. Right, I like to put it in the in the actual ice thing because I feel like it freezes it faster. And you can excuse that. That's that's adult friendly. That's not kid friendly. Anyway, so there's that. Next, what I want to do, let's get this rinsed off. Let me get this rinsed off and cleaned up for you really quick. I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come right back. Okay, so now I'm back and I want to show you in a little bit more detail how to use your baby Brezza or Breeza 
I'll learn how to say it eventually, I promise. Anyway, like I said, this is like a food processor. It has a blade that snaps into place. And that I always put in first, okay? I made this mistake before. Don't put your food in and then snap that in because it just doesn't work and then you end up taking the food back out and it's just a whole big process. Put that in first, snap the container into place. It's an easy twist and lock. This is a water reservoir. Make sure it has enough water in it. I'm actually going to refill real quick and just make sure it doesn't stop on me because if it doesn't have enough water in it, it's going to beep five times and tell you that you have to start back over again. What I want to do is I took some of the carrots out of my frozen veggie mix and I mixed in some corn. So that's why there are still peas in there because I took them out of the other mix. And I want to steam this and I'm not going to puree it. I'm just going to store it and let the baby figure out how to pick up little pieces of carrots and feed herself because she's been having fun with bananas and turkey and a bunch of other stuff. So this I'm just going to dump right in there. Whoop, let me get you back in the view. There you go. Now you can see. Dump that right in there. I always have to clean out this little guy because you always get a couple vegetables in there. Whoop. Get that out so that you can actually snap the lid on. I lost a piece of corn. There's my piece of corn. Get the rest of my veggies in here. There we go. Okay, now that you've done that, put your top back on. And again, it's just a twist and it locks and it's all set. And I'm not going to blend this one at all. I'm just going to hit steam until the light at 20 minutes lights up and then start. And that's going to do all the work for me. In about 20 minutes, I'm going to have steamed fresh vegetables. I'm going to put it in small Tupperware containers that I have here um, in portioned out sizes to share with the baby. And you can either get your veggies out the night before and let them thaw in the fridge and let the baby eat them at room temperature later on in the day. Or if you don't think ahead like me, I never think ahead and I always forget because I'm always doing something else late at night like cleaning the kitchen or trying to crash because I just chased a baby around all day or went to work all day. So if you don't think ahead, you can always just pull them out of the freezer and warm them up in the microwave for like, I think it usually takes 20 to 30 seconds. And because they're already portioned out into small sizes, it's perfect. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys can use some good recipes for your babies. And please uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more videos. And I hope you're all having a great Friday and have a happy weekend. I'll see you again soon. Bye.